So this is the information for the memory cache and the memory main memory address. Uh, here is the given information, and from there we want to look for our tag, line, and word. Uh, with the given information, we here we know that eight gigabytes, and we, if we want to break that down, we're gonna look at two to three bytes times two to thirty bytes, which gives us two to the thirty three bytes now if we look at the cache we know that f uh, we have 512 kilobytes and if we break that down is equal to 2 to the 9 bytes times 2 to the 10 bytes which equals to 2 to the 19 bytes and if we divide uh, to find the cache per memory we take the main memory and divide that so we'd go 2 to 33 divided by 2 to 19 which gives us 2 to the 14 cache per memory but here I forgot to put in the units so we'll fill that in so we bytes per memory bytes per cache bytes per memory bytes per cache and the last unit will give us cache per memory And now if we take the log of base 2 of 2 to the 14 cache per memory, uh, which gives us 14 bits. And this will give us our tag. That's 14 bits. Now next, we'll look into trying to find our line. So we go and we know that 2 to the 19 uh, bytes, and we divide that. Uh, or 2 to the 19 bytes per cat per cache divide that by 2 to the 6 bytes per line which will give us our line per cache which in turn or 2 to 13 lines per cache and now uh, if we take the log of 2 of base 2 to the 2 to the 13, it will give us 13 bits, which is our line. And to find the total, uh, to find the world size, because we know that the total bit address is a 32 bit address, we can just minus that, we can minus the information that we calculated from that main bit address. So it'll be 32 bits minus 14 bits, which is our tag, minus our line which is 13 bits which gives us five bits and that is our words word size and here uh, i'm just filling the our table in so the first question is what is the address in base 10. now the address in base 10 is that we're trying to refer to is the main memory address that we have to convert to base 10 right now it's in a hexadecimal um, that we have to switch first to base 2 and then switch that to base 10 and then the address will be 0000, 0, 0, 0 e 602 How we convert it to base 2 from a hexadecimal is each digit in the hexadecimal will be four digits that is in binary that is referring to so zeros will be four zeros e will be 15 so we need to write that in binary which will be 1110 and 6 in binary, which will be 0110 and 0 again will be four zeros and 2 will be 0010. I think I made a mistake there. Now after that, what we do is we look at each place that the one it appears in and we record that digit as the exponent ex, as the exponent so the first one will be two to the one and then we start counting uh whenever the ones appear uh as we count along uh the next one that we encounter will be two to the nine and then two to the ten and to make sure two to the thirteen and then two to the fourteen and then 2 to the 15.
No, after we've counted and make sure what we do is we re we'll write it down uh, because we need to add them all up. So it'll be 2 to the 15 plus 2 to the 14 plus 2 to the 13 plus 2 to the 10 plus 2 to the 9 plus 2 to the 1. Now, after calculating all of that, uh, it will equal to 32,768 plus 16,384 plus 8,192 plus 1,024, oops, made a mistake there, plus 512 and plus 2 which will give us the final answer of 58,882, and that is in base 10. So the question is, what line is that cell in? Uh, so how we calculate that is we divide the word by the words per line. And what we do is we take our word, so 58,882nd word, uh, and divide that by the words per line, which is given to us, and which gives us our block, so the 1840th uh, line and with the remainder of two, which means that that is our second word. And when we take the 1840th lot, 1840th block, and we mod that, uh, we mod that by two to the 13 uh, lines per cache will give us the 1840th line. So to find which word is it in the line, what we actually have to do is take our word at the 58,882nd 58, second word, and we take the modulo and we mod that with two to the five words per line, uh, which will give us two, which means that it is our second word. So to find which block is it, uh, what we have to do is take our 58,882nd word and we divide that by the words per line, which is two to the five, words per line which will e e give us the eight 1840th block so what is the tag in base 10 how we find that is we take our block so our 1840th block and we divide that by the lines of catch or ca lines per cache, which is two to 13, which coincidentally gives us uh, our zero tag. And next we want to find which other cells are also in the same block of memory. How we go about doing so is we find, first we find our start. And what we do is we take our the word that we were look we we have from the memory addresses is five fifty eight thousand eight hundred eighty second, and because it's the second word we want to minus that to find the beginning which will give us fifty eight thousand eight hundred eighty word, 
and we divide that the word by word per cell and which will also g give us 58,880 word and that it is our first cell. Now the ending cell will be our 58,880th cell and add however many lines there are which or bytes cells per block there are which is 2 to the 5 which will end give us 58,911 cell. And so from start to end of this block will be cell 58,882, 58,911, 